So good afternoon. My name is Jijing Zhao from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, and my supervisor is Dr. Ajay Kumar. So we are working on more accurate iris recognition. So if we look at the problem, the common uh, workflow more specifically, we are working on the feature extraction process from de detected and normalized iris images. So the traditional methods may uh, suffer from uh, things like uh, heavy parameter tuning and uh, uh, dependency to the database and which made model less generalizable to uh, different imaging settings. So the key idea is very simple, is to use deep learning to do a better job. And the uh, in intuitive idea will be inputting an image and to a CNN and get uh, feature vectors just like the uh, face recognition. However, from uh, the literature and also uh, in our practice, uh, we found uh, it's not suitable for iris matching because uh, the discriminative uh, features of iris lies in the local intensity distribution. So uh, we turn to use the fully convolutional network, FCN, for uh, extracting the spatially corresponding features or descriptors from the input uh, iris images. Um, the spatial uh, correspondence means that the output feature map can be uh, pixel to pixel or block to uh, block uh, spatially corresponding to the original input. And to our knowledge, uh, this is the very first work to use FCN for direct recognition purpose instead of the previously uh, popular uh, detection or segmentation. So this is our uh, architecture composed of two uh, sub-networks. The first one is called the FISNet. It's uh, FCN is jetting a single channel uh, spatially corresponding features from the input iris images. And the second one, since uh, we are using a, a spatial feature map now instead of the simple feature vector, so we develop second network to identify uh, which regions are of our real interest that is valid iris uh, regions. Uh, then we discard the other regions of occlusions, uh, useless pixels. So we also develop a uh, problem specific uh, extended chiplet loss uh, to handle the frequently observed uh, occlusion just mentioned and also the spatial translation uh, uh, between the uh, uh, two feature maps. And so we derive a distance function to uh, accommodate these two issues in a differentiable manner. And then we use the chiplet mechanism to uh, optimize the network, that is to uh, reduce the distance between the positive pairs and increase the distance among the negative pairs. So here are uh, our experimental results. Uh, we compare with uh, traditional and also the state of the art methods on different databases. And um, uh, we have two experimental setups, and both of our results can outperform uh, other uh, state of the art methods. And uh, more surprisingly, and uh, our cross database uh, setup that is to train on one data set and test on the others uh, can work very well, uh, uh, despite we don't have any further fine tuning. So our code is also made available and the link is provided uh, in our paper. So welcome to our poster session uh, for more details and discussion is number 13. Uh, thank you very much.